Good morning from Flom. We had a very uneventful night. There were no ghosts creeping about or anything like that. Soon we'll be going downstairs and having some breakfast and then we'll be packing up because today we are going to be riding on the Flombanen. The Flombanen goes between Flom and Murdal and then back again. Uh, and it stops at Chosfossen, so a big waterfall that we can stop there and film a little. Well, once we get back, we are going to be heading even further south, staying at a hotel right near a huge waterfall called Vodingsfoss. So that's going to be really, really cool. So today is kind of like the waterfall day. Now we are seated on the uh, Flombonen train and we will be departing in about 15 minutes.
siste stopp er framstasjon, plattform til venstre. Lunch time. One last look at our hotel before we jump in the car and head off to our next des destination. Okay, so that was Undredal Stave Church. It is the smallest stave church in all of Scandinavia. It was completed in 1147. Out in freaking nowhere. And it was scary to get here. The road is tiny and winding and <laughs> so stressful. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got to see the smallest stave church in all of Scandinavia. So cool. This waterfall is called Bindefoss. Okay, so back in our car after our little detour to stop and look at that beautiful waterfall. And now we are back on the road headed towards Fossili Hotel. Which Overlook is, Hotel. Yeah, the Overlook Hotel. It's a big wooden building out in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. And it's overlooking the voting Fossil. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's been on my bucket list for a while. It's been on my bucket list for a while. Have you ever heard of Vos? It's that expensive water in that cylindrical bottle. Well, this is where they bottle it. Uh, we found another sign.
find for another waterfall. This one is called Schadefossen. I told you it was waterfall day. This was a bunker during World War II for Norwegian soldiers. Not bad, eh? And still at least one more waterfall to go today.
Norway is fantastic at taking nat natural treasures like this, national treasures, and, and uh, making it so that anybody can come here and, and enjoy it free of charge. morning sign to kind of try and get you to stay on the path. He's the most famous composer in Norway. Okay, so the starter is um, local smoked trout. So this is supposed to be trout that is smoked. Um, and then we have a little bit of salad, some lime, and this is a spicy sour cream dressing, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so for the main course, which is huge by the way, I'm a little shocked. We have whipped potatoes that look all pretty, and we have a uh, rack of lamb that's done perfectly medium rare, which I love. It is steamy. And then there's this uh, mushroom jus with some blueberries and my could... favorite pea puree. For dessert, Gaid went with his absolute favorite dessert of all time. It is a uh, cardamom pudding, which is basically a flan. And I went with fondant. Chocolate fondant and ice cream.
we just got back from our hike and now it's time for us to go to bed so good night and see you early in the morning tomorrow